welcome to Women's Web Marketing. In tonight's video I'm going to be teaching you how to do a PHP redirect. Now that's really just some fancy language for redirecting an affiliate link to a link of your choice. Okay, so for example, so this just doesn't completely baffle you, see here how I've got womenswebmarketing.com forward slash VIP hyphen vault. Now let's just say, uh, for sake of a better example, let's go to Facebook. We'll go to the Cat Hudson uh, to my Women's Web Marketing fan page. Yep, there we go. Now, look at this link, how big and long and messy it is. Now, if I wanted to make this link www.womenswebmarketing.com forward slash Facebook, and that is basically, for, for an example, that is what a PHP redirect is taking this link and making it into a link of your choice. Okay, so to start off with, I've given you the PHP file, it's attached to the article. So right click save that to your desktop and it's going to end up saved there, excuse my messy screen, got some housework to do on the Mac. Okay, so you've got your PHP file. Now what I would like you to do is create a new folder called Affiliate Links. Now this is a great way to be able to remember. So for example, my affiliate links go under my marketingpurse.com for women's web marketing. So all of my affiliate links would be marketingpurse.com forward slash and then a description of what it is that I'm recommending. So you have your affiliate links folder and you've got index.php. Okay, now we're going to come back to those. And you just need to jump on to the web and we're going to go over to your hosting company. I host with HostMonster, which is hostwithhostmonster.com. And the reason I host with HostMonster is because I get like, I can have over a hundred websites running off this one account and it costs me like $80 a year or something crazy. It's really, really cheap. And I've never had any trouble and they've been phenomenal with their customer support and service. So I highly recommend them. I run into my C panel which is your working station. And this is another reason I chose Host Monster because these C panels are just fantastic. They make it so easy to do anything. You can make it easy to up, install a website. Uh, they've got great tracking. Emails are easy to create. So this C panel is fantastic for, um, especially for people starting out. So it makes it really easy. But what we actually want to come down to is the file section of the C panel or whatever kind of account you've got to get into. So you go into your file manager. And you come down and you find the website that you're wanting to use as the first part of the link. So if that was cathudson.com, I would go into the Cat Hudson file, double click it. Okay, so now I would come over here and create a new folder and this folder's name is the second part of the link. So if I wanted it to be cathudson.com forward slash I love marketing, in the folder name I would type I love marketing. We'll create a new folder. Okay, and we've decided that it's the Facebook link that I want to redirect to cathudson.com forward slash I love marketing. So we come over here, we copy and paste that link, or you know, if it's an affiliate product you're doing this for, the affiliate link. You open this index.php and you replace the link that's there with the link that you've just copied. So in essence, what's going to happen is we save this file and when people type in cathudson.com forward slash I love marketing, they're going to go to my Facebook page. That's how we're setting it up. So we're going to save that. Now the reason I told you to create this affiliate links folder a little earlier was because you're obviously going to have multiple index.php. You never actually change this file name. It's only the domain name, your website name inside that ever that changes. Okay, so we'll close that. Now what I like to do is go into my affiliate links folder and create a folder with the with the name of the link. So a 
it's easy to get to later. And what you could even do is if you've got a heap of these to do, you do it all at once, just create multiple folders. Say we're doing uh, an affiliate link for uh, whether and we might have another one for hosting. And what I do is I go through and I copy my index PHP folder and I'll put it into my I love marketing. Then I'll go off and I'll get my Aweber affiliate link, copy that, open this up, save it, and then copy and paste it into Aweber. So I'll get it all ready and then go into my C panel and go into the file manager. And then I'll just go through and I'll create all of my folders. So we've done the I love marketing. And then if it was Aweber, I would create Aweber. But I won't do that because I'm already Okay, and then you want to upload that index.php file into the... Okay, so you come down here and you just and you pick the file that you're wanting to upload into. So that would be I Love Marketing. Double click and open that. Come over here to upload. Click Browse and find that index.php. So that's done. So now when I type into my bar cat Hudson Hudson's.com forward slash I love marketing. Oh, I must have voila, there you go. You're um onto the page, my Facebook page through typing in that link. So this is a really great way to cover up all those long messy links and another great way for you to remember. Uh, if, say, you're having a conversation with someone, someone says, well, who do you use? You could type in cathudson.com, I love marketing. You'll remember it. So it's nice and easy. So I hope that video has helped you and you'll be able to take that and implement it into your business. Check back in for another video really soon.